Awesome. Your blog is a profit-producing um, job for you, and I think for people who um, are interested in this line of work, that can be probably the most difficult element to figure that out, how to make this work, to make a little bit of income. What are some of your um, advice that you might give on how to monetize a blog? Um, it's funny because I'm I'm not the best person to ask because I <laughs> I started it as this is my way to connect. This is because I love writing and then was like, hey, wait, I could probably make money off of this. <laughs> so I know a lot of people do the opposite um, and are like, hey, how could I bring incomes? But it's funny because I just read an article at the end of last year that said 84% of people buy products after they've read about it, either on a blog or from social media or something like that. So you think like that's a huge number. Um, and we always joke that someone, everyone influences someone out there. And so I think it's realizing, you know, starting with the blog, starting with writing, you know, perfecting that. Um, but blogging brands are realizing and have realized lately um, that blogging is such a great way to bring um power to their brands. Uh, you know, so it's, it's funny cause I always call it a marketing technique. And so creating this editorial style brings people to the blogs in a number of ways, but mostly it shows that the brand isn't just a corporation. They're interested in their people they're interested in the lives of their consumers, what's going on. Um, and so we're kind of the middleman there to bring that attention to the blog or to the brands through blogs. Um, and so it's just tapping into that. And it's funny because five years ago, it was a lot easier than now. Now it's so saturated that you really have to focus on how do you stand out? What can you bring a brand that someone else can't? Because everyone, you know, has the numbers, everyone can write. So it's really figuring out how you stand out, where you bring something that nobody else can, or how you're going to connect that brand to readers differently than everybody else. I would think that the longevity of your blog and just your total readership over time would help a lot. Um, it definitely does. I mean, yeah, they want to see that your history and um, your engagement and things like that. But I mean, there's people, it's funny because it's one business that never, ever stops changing. And so it's constantly updating. And so, I mean, it's just constantly staying on top of it and figuring out, um, you know, how you can make that connection the best. And I joke that, like, if you read my blog, I'm the same person online. I know people that I've met are like, oh, my gosh, you're exactly. So I think that's a big part of it. Like, you have to be real with your readers. Um, and I only really take projects or reach out to brands that I feel passionate about. It's something that I really like because you can see that in writing, whether or not somebody is passionate about it or somebody really means this or it's just, hey, I'm writing this because I'm going to get a paycheck type thing. <laughs>